brother-in-law said we'd find you here. <clears throat> we try to live as normally as possible, but that watch group's making our lives miserable. Right, they put me on that flyer, and the boss fired me. I want a pervert selling insurance. Can you blame them for being afraid? I'm not a danger to anybody. Did Sandra Woodley agree? I was 22, I met her in a club. I wasn't thinking a 15-year-old could even be out that late. She said she's 19. Is that your defense? Look, I didn't deny any of it. I went to prison. What more can I do? A protective detail will begin at midnight and continue around the clock until the killer is found. You're saying that we're at risk? Well, look, you're on the flyer, just like the other two rapists who were killed, so. Has anyone from the watch group been harassing you? Sam Winfield even tried to stop me from enrolling my daughter in his kid's school. What the hell do you think he is? All roads lead to Winfield. Who is this guy? An ex-cop from Albany. Took early retirement after a bad shoot. Doesn't prove anything. But I had a heart-to-heart -heart with his partner at the time. That bad shoot, it involved the rapist. He also has an arsenal of weapons registered, including a 9mm. Smartcheck's girlfriend said a man from the Citizen's Watch was harassing them. And her friend said it got pretty heated. Show them both a photo array. If they can ID them, let's invite them down here for a little chat. There you go. She's doing so well. She's a brave little girl. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Louise Sterning? Yes. I'm Detective Benson. This is my partner, Detective Stabler. You're here about Gloria? Come this way. We understand you were with Gloria and Thomas Marchek when a man from Citizen's Watch approached you? Yes, in the restaurant. Do you think you'd remember this man if you saw him again? I think so. OK. Can you tell us if he's one of these? Yes, he's this one. Do you think he had something to do with Thomas's murder? Do you remember what he said in the restaurant? Nothing to me. He showed Thomas his gun and told him to watch out. I already gave a statement. What more do you need? You said Sam Winfield, the guy from Community Watch, harassed you and Tommy. He followed us everywhere. Even came in here a couple of times. Went straight to Low Station. I tried to avoid him, but he complained to my manager. Had to wait on him. Did he say anything? Awful stuff about Tommy. Said if I knew what was good for me, I'd leave him and never see him again. <laughs> One time Tommy came in and he was talking to Glow. I thought for sure there was going to be hell to pay. What happened? Tommy grabbed Winfield by the shirt, lifted him right out of his chair. Winfield split Tommy's head open with an ashtray. Said if he ever touched him again, he'd kill him. Finally caught up with Gloria. She ID'd Winfield from the array and confirmed that he threatened Marshak with a gun. Now she's scared for her life. At the rate this guy's going, we're gonna have to assign another protection detail. Dispatch just got a call from the Campbell residence. Shots fired. Scared the hell out of my wife. Little girl. Where are they now? We sent them to a motel where they'll be safe. Not that you give a damn what happens to me or my family. That's not true, Mr. Campbell. Well, then where was that protective detail that you promised? The shift doesn't start until midnight. How convenient. Did you see who fired the shots? I didn't have to. I saw Winfield standing across the street, staring at the apartment. A few minutes later, window explodes. Had he threatened you? Coming up the street, he grabbed me and told me to get out of the neighborhood. And when I told him to go to hell, he said if I didn't listen, I was going to end up like the other two guys. OK, when the protective detail gets here, we'll escort your family back home. No thanks, detective. Safe for where they are. I worked at the shop until 10, then uh, I went home. You go out for a dinner break? About 6. Yeah, where'd you go? For a walk. James Campbell said that you wound up at his place, threatened his life. I tried to save his neck, but he wouldn't listen. Instead, he gets in my face, calls me a stalker. I don't have to take that from anyone, least of all a stinking rapist. That way he took a shot at him? I didn't shoot at anybody. He saw you outside his window. He was mistaken. Like I said, I was at work. Anybody with you? My partner, Paul Cormick. And we're rebuilding an engine. The block is cracked. How many guns do you own? Five. Counting the engraved Marine Dragoon. But you already know that, don't you? Expecting a war? I shoot competitively. <laughs> but you know that, too. Tell you what. Why don't the two of you tell me what you want? And I'll tell you if I'm going to make it easy or I'm going to make it hard. Give up your 9 millimeter for testing. No. Now, why do we have to go through this? Huh? 
You gonna play us? We just keep right on digging. Then grab a shovel, brother. No probable cause, no warrant, no guns. We know that you followed these guys. And no one filed a complaint. So what's the problem? Problem is, anyone you don't like, they wind up dead. Pedophiles and rapists. Don't waste your pity. He used to be a good cop. What happened? Are you guys gonna charge him with anything? Or can I go home now? That was much. Cormac's wife puts her husband at home by 9 p.m. Well, there goes Winfield's alibi. We'll need warrants to cover the garage and home. Cabot's already on it. Take a look at this. I called Winfield's captain in Albany, got the off the record on his bad shoot. Turns out the gun the perp was carrying had no prints. It was a draw? Serial number was filed clean. Winfield had eight commendations up to that point? That's why they offered him early retirement. The case he was working on was real badass. The captain said it ate him to the bone. The warrants are on the way. I already sent Munch and Finn to the residence. You two go to the business. The unis will meet you there. What the hell is this? Sorry, Sam. I couldn't stop him. Yeah, we're fine. So much for professional courtesy. You brought this on yourself. Just another day on the blue line, huh, Detective? You better watch out. Huh? Or you'll wind up just like me. Well, thanks for the advice. Just let's do our job. We'll be out of here. Mm -hmm. You all right? Yep. I'll get a first aid kit. Detectives! Found this in an oil drum out back. Mr. Winfield! Don't forget about that first aid kit. You're under arrest for the murder of Thomas Marchak and Craig Moss and the attempted murder of James Campbell. You have the right to remain silent. I know my rights. Well, then let's get out of here. 